8 12, 5 10, 9 36, 8 and 8 24. Paano ba mag-simplify ng mga fractions and mixed numbers sa madaling paraan? To know the four easy methods, keep watching! to Joy Fernandez Tutorials. Today, I'm going to discuss to you four easy steps on how to reduce fractions and mix numbers into their lowest term. So, let's start with the first method. Okay? Listing method. How do you reduce fractions using the listing method? Okay, gagawin natin. Step one, we're going to list down all of the factors of the numerator in the denominator. Pag sinabi natin factors, ito yung mga numbers na multiply natin to get a certain number or a product. Okay, so let's list this down. 8. We have 8 and 1. We have 4 and 2. Okay, how about 10? We have 10 and 1. 5 and 2. We have some more. Wala na. So, step 2, identify the common factors. At doon sa mga common factors, pipiliin nyo yung mas malaki o yung pinakamalaki depende sa dami ng factors. So, tingnan natin. So, 1, pareho silang may 1. Pareho rin silang may 2. And which is greater? 1 or 2? Okay, let's encircle the greater number. Step 3, ano yung partner ng 2 dito? 4. Okay? Ano naman yung partner ng 2 dito? It's 5. Therefore, we have now the simplified fraction. Another example, how about 24 and 13? Okay? Again, step 1, list down all of the factors. We have 8 and 3, 12 and 2, 24 and 1, meron pa, 6 and 4. Okay, how about 30? We have 10 and 3. 15 and 2. 30 and 1. And 6 and 5. Next step, identify the common factors at piliin ninyo yung mas malaki, pinakamalaki doon sa listahan. So, let's see. Of course, they have 1. Do they have 2? Yes. Meron pa bang mas mataas? Meron. 3. Meron pa rin mas mataas, which is 6. Ito na yung pinakamataas. So, in circle. In circle. Ano yung partner ng 6 dito? 4. What's the partner of 6 here? 5. So, we have now 4 fifth as the reduced form of 24, 30. Okay, let's go to prime factorization. If you are not still familiar with prime factorization, uh, please visit the link above and ituturo niyan sa inyo kung paano mag-factor out using prime numbers. Okay, so remember the most commonly used prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Ito yung mga pinaka-common na ginagamit to factor out using the prime numbers. Okay. So, let's start with... So, first step, list down all of the prime factors of the numerator. So, meron siya 13 and 2. Ito yung mga prime factors niya. How about 32? So, we have 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2. Next step, ano yung kompletong column? Okay, we have 2, right? Ito yung kompleto. So, what number is left here? Is 13. So, we have 4. Apat yung natirang mga numero dito. So, what you're going to do is find the product. So, 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 2 is 16. So, we have now the simplified fraction. Hey, okay. another. How about 10 and... Yeah. Using prime factorization, 
So we have the prime factors of 10 are 2 and 5. Prime factors of 20 are 2 and 5, 2. Dapat yung isang column magkapareho yung numbers. Parehong numbers sa isang column. So, what columns are complete? Pansin natin po. Pansin natin yung question. Ang muna nang natira dito sa numerator. If there's no more number here, so it means that this is 1. Automatic na 1 siya pag wala nang natira dito. So, how about here for the denominator? We have 2. So, we have now 1 half. Next method is trial and error. Magka-trial and error naman tayo ngayon. Halimbawa, uh, how about 12 and 24? 20 na lang. Okay? So, in the trial and error method, you think of a number which you can divide by the numerator and the denominator. So, dahil sila ay even numbers, remember the visibility rule na if that is an even number, it can be divided by 2. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Okay, so 6 tenths. Do you think this is the final answer? No, they are still both even numbers. Therefore, you can divide by 2. So, divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is now 5. So, this is now the final answer. For example, we have um, 30 and 45. Okay? So, think of a number which you can divide by each. So, numerator and the denominator. What's the number? 3. Okay, let's try 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 45 divided by 3 is 15. Okay, you can see here that there's still a common factor which you can divide by the numerator and the denominator. Ano yun? Pwede pa natin i-divide yung by 5. So divided by 5, divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Do you think this is now the final answer? Yes. So we have now 2 thirds. Okay? So that is trial and error. Now we go to the last method, which is mental mass. Actually, this method is for the expert na. Yung talagang kabisado. Yung kabisado na yung multiplication table. Um, how are we going to do this? We have 56 and 64. Okay. Um, think of a number which is the largest. Which you can divide by the numerator and by the denominator. Ito na yung greatest common factor. Okay, mental. Did you think about 8? You're correct. So, 56 divided by 8 is 7. 64 divided by 8 is 8. We have now the final answer. Another example. 36, 54. What do you think is the greatest common factor of 36 and 54? Did you think about 18? You thought about 18, therefore you are correct. So 36 divided by 18 is 2. 54 divided by 18 is 3. So we have now two thirds. How about simplifying mixed numbers? Pag sinabi natin mixed number, this is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Example, 7 and 10, 15. So how are we going to simplify this mixed number? 
Dito, huwag muna natin intindihin yung whole number. Itong proper fraction ang dapat na masimplify. So, let's have listing method. 10, 15. So, what are the factors of 10? We have 5 and 2. 10 and 1. How about 15? We have 5 and 3. 15 and 1. It's the greatest. Okay? So, we we'll have 5. What's the partner of 5 here? 2. Partner of 5 here? 3. Okay? Ang gagawin lang, you just copy the whole number and then attach now the simplified fraction. So, we have 7 and 2 thirds. We go to the next example. This time, we're going to simplify the proper fraction by using prime factorization. So, we have 12 and 36. Prime factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. Prime factors of 36 are 2, 2, 3, and 3. Now, completo ang dito, dito, at dito. So, what's left? Wala, walang natira, kaya automatic na, it's 1. And then, what's left here is number 3. Therefore, one third now, let's just attach to the whole number. So, we have now 9 and 1 third. Now, we go to the third example. This time, we're going to simplify naman using trial and error method. So, 14 and 28. Ano kaya ang pwede ni divide by each of them? 2. Okay? 18 divided by 2 is 7. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Can you still think of a number except 1 na pwede ni divide by the numerator as well as the by the denominator? Meron pa ba? Meron. It's 7. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is Two. Okay, so let's now attach. Eight and one half. And the last example, using mental math. So we have 12 and 16, 20. Okay, using mental math, just copy the whole number and think of the GCF, which you can divide by the numerator and by the denominator. So, the greatest common factor is 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, 12 and 4, 5. To sum it up, what are again the 4 easy methods on how to reduce or simplify fractions and mixed numbers? We have listing method. Good. Prime factorization. We have also trial and error, and mental math, okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you once again, keep safe, and God bless.